Hello there, complete situation report for you from the Mahara region. Any large scale clashes ongoing? What happened in the last 24 hours? Details for you in this video. Relatively new fronts uh, were opened uh, in the last 48 hours uh, after relative calm on uh, Maskal, Maskal Damira, Milad, Iricha celebrations. Fighting resumed around 24 hours ago. Though intensity of fighting is still not very high, but gradually we are seeing resumption of clashes between Fano and Ethiopian military. New fronts for me where we are seeing fighting now some new fronts firstly uh, gondar gondar to dansha road you can see this road here this is the road which was used by military to take back gondar a few weeks ago when fano was in control of gondar city back then military started an offensive and mobilized its troops along this road military entered gondar from the north strategic road because it connects gondar with uh, dansha with uh, humaira volkait and you can see sanja here uh, it is a northern western gondar you can say here there were heavy clashes between military and Fano fighters yesterday. Sanja, it, you can see this line here to the west of Sanja. This is Sudan-Ethiopia border. So Sanja would be around, I think, 30 kilometers away from Sudan border. This operation against Fano in Sanja uh, was meant to keep Fano away from Sudan border and to protect this road because uh, this road is Ethiopian military's lifeline uh, to stay in control of Gondar. Both these roads because uh, uh, the southern road infras uh, to Gondar is not under full military control. Secondary road Kola Dibba to Gondar also not under full military control. This western road towards Matimma, uh, though it is under military control, but sometimes Fano fighter carry out attacks along this road. So military wants to stay in control of these two roads which connect uh, Gondar with uh, western uh, Tegarai, with Humaira Volkai Sagadev. That is why this operation was launched near this road in Sanja. Uh, secondly, movement of Ethiopian military convoys was seen around 24 hours ago along this road. Uh, from Dabat towards Gondar, a large convoy of military was seen on its way. So it means we can say that uh, Western Tegarai, Humaira, Volkai, Sagade is serving as one of uh, uh, logistics centers, one of command centers of Ethiopian military for its operations in Gondar. Uh, though Fano fighters entered Gondar uh, at the start of this week but, and they carried out some attacks inside Gondar, they freed prisoners, but they retreated. So, they have the capability to enter Gondar, but uh, they do not want to remain in control of Gondar. They cannot remain in control of uh, Gondar. Secondly, uh, let me show you Maksanath here, where uh, there were clashes between military and uh, Fano fighters. Here you can see Maksanath. In Maksanath, uh, a district leader has been killed. We saw, we, we received reports of clashes between military and Fano in Maksanath. Read a video around two days ago. Heavy clashes. 
both sides suffered losses and a civilian district head has been shot dead here. Fano fighters are accusing military, uh, but such assassinations are mostly carried out by Fano fighters. In Kola Dibba, there uh, has been intense fighting between military and Fano fighters. This is Kola Dibba. Uh, this road, Kola Dibba, Chwahit, uh, Fano has uh, uh, significant military presence here. So, these two roads. Uh, situation on these two roads is very volatile. Here, Fano fighters have their presence and military convoys are uh, hit, they are ambushed along these two roads. Interestingly, Fano fighters entered three uh, cities in the last uh, 72 hours and they freed prisoners from these uh, three cities. I did a video about Voldia. They entered Voldia. Let me show you Voldia on this map. Uh, Voldia, where uh, a detention center was attacked by Fano fighters and unknown number of uh, Fano comrades, other prisoners were freed. Secondly, Tadda, near Gondar. Uh, you can see Tadda here. Here too, Around 48 hours ago, Fano fighters entered and uh, they attacked a police station. The prisoners were freed from this police station. And thirdly, Debre Tabor. In Debre, though military is in control of Debre Tabor, but Fano fighters beached Debre Tabor security and they carried out an attack on a police station. So, three attacks. Debre Tabo, Tadda and Voldia by Fano fighters to free their comrades. Bahirdar, under military control, calm there, though Fano carried out two attacks in Bahirdar this week, uh, ambush style attacks on military uh, there. Miravi is the town where reportedly there was fighting between military and Fano fighters. Earlier we saw Fano fighters presence in Mashanti, I had a video on that. Uh, but in Miravi, reportedly uh, the two sides clashed yesterday. Now, Gojam. Gojam is a calm. Uh, I did not receive any report of large-scale fighting between Fano and military in Gurjum. Uh, only in one a town we received reports of uh, fighting and that is Awabal. Uh, there is a road which connects uh, Debre Marcos with Awabal and here there was uh, fighting between Fano and military. Otherwise, uh, Relative calm in Gondar in the last in in Gojam in the last 24 hours, and it it was mainly due to uh, Maskal Maskal Damira celebrations. Though in Gojam no public celebrations were held, but uh, uh, in churches obviously people gathered. Uh, that is why intensity of fighting decreased, uh, which could flare up. I think in coming days. Now, uh, North Shoa zone of the Amhara region, what is happening there? Ararti can be seen here viewers, Ararti, Minjar, uh, where situation still volatile. Uh, for around two weeks, we have been seeing clashes in and around Ararti, Fano fighters entered Ararti. They took control of entire Arati, then military, they tried to move towards Romeo, towards the Jare. But then came a counter-offensive and since then we have been seeing fighting uh, in Arati, around Arati uh, too. Uh, military in control of uh, the outskirts, reportedly Fano fighters are here too. Uh, Escalation ongoing uh, in Ararati. Uh, then Ankober to, uh, let me show you, An Ankober here, military retook Ankober, relative calm there. Debre Sena, where there 
uh, were clashes between military and Fano fighters uh, around 24 hours ago reportedly. And uh, one down in West Volo where there were clashes between military uh, and Fano fighters is Vagdi. Vagdi is very strategic. You can see Vagdi here. Uh, this is Volo, Western Volo, I think. And uh, there has been fighting in Vagdi for several days uh, because of its strategic uh, importance, because uh, Vagdi is a sort of link between Volo and Gujam. From Vagdi, you can move towards Gujam. Uh, Mertola Mariam uh, and then uh, Debdevark East Kajam and obviously uh, Magdi is along Magdi is along the main road which leads uh, towards uh, North Shoa zone of the Amhara region. So strategic area uh, it leads towards Volo uh, uh, to Dasi main road. That is why Vagdi is strategic and we have been seeing continued clashes between military and Fano fighters in Vagdi. This is overall situation in the Amhara region. Relative, uh, I wouldn't say relative calm, but intensity of fighting uh, decreased during Maskal, Maskal Demira. And gradually we are seeing now resumption of fighting in different parts of the Amhara region. Thank you for watching.